Hello, my name is Stephen McGee. I'm a filmmaker in Detroit, Michigan. you need to know everything from photo editing to making a great image in a single frame and making the transition to video started editing my own work and that in 2005 um, was something that was uh, attractive to newspapers because they wanted to start video departments so I had been working overseas with different nonprofit groups in Africa and Southeast Asia and that gave me the background and the understanding of how to tell a story both with photos and video and at the time that was called a multimedia journalist. The, a big client downtown Detroit wanted a film done of, of the city that was capturing its current resurgence. That's really tough to do because of the amount of stories that are coming out of Detroit right now about the resurgence. So we couldn't have it be cliche, we couldn't have it um, be nostalgic. And what I wanted was a highly cinematic story that was personal, uh, as personal as it was to me. I wanted the audience to see it too and, and grow in love with the city that I'd gotten to know very well. And so we filmed for um, three weeks across multiple different locations. The first three days of being shared on Facebook, the film got 6,000 shares and over 280,000 views on Facebook. Uh, it, and I think it was because people want People want their voices heard. They want their voices reflected in media. And when it's not reflected in media the way they see themselves, they don't really want that. I mean, nobody wants their own image shown in a different way than they, than they see themselves. So this film is really uplifting without being a cheerleader. So I, when people saw it on Facebook, I saw the responses just kind of start flowing in. They're like, thank you, finally we have a voice out there. Finally, our city is shown the way we see it. And um, yeah, so I think the popularity was because it touched their hearts. Well, using the Sockler tripod is, it took my whole production into a new level. I mean, it, I had been working with smaller tripods the majority of my life, literally taping legs on, you know, and having the, the leg not slip enough to slip out, but just enough to have the traction there. And so the, pro, the, the, the production value of my films, I've always tried to keep at the top, but the gear I use for the majority of my life just wasn't there. And I, I, it was partially because my budgets weren't there, but also because I try and spend money on gear that I need that I know will help the production value out. And so when I started using the Sockler tripod specifically, there's just an elegant and grace that's a part of the tripod because of how it's made that inspires me to go out and film. So the tripod is the most important part of any package I use because it's going to be holding the camera that I'm that I'm capturing the world with and I need it to be reliable and consistently reliable and rugged and light at the same time. So the Sockler 7 Plus 7 is really an amazing tripod because I can hike with it to a far away location because it's light enough to, to carry but it, it, it's rugged enough not to be blown by the wind while I'm doing a long time lapse or you know a really long lens shot and that is huge. There are a lot of systems out there that aren't ergonomically correct or aren't built for the filmmaker in mind. And what I found with the Sockler is it's built with the filmmaker in mind. And that's what I need. Mean.